Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about diffusers, more specifically the Vitruvia diffusers, which just so happen to be my favorite brand of diffusers. Let's say diffusers one more time. In this video, we're gonna kind of jump into two sections. First and foremost, I'm gonna talk about two of the different types of collections that they offer, the Stone Collection as well as the Move Collection. And then I'm going to also be talking about their essential oil blends. I have a lot and I've tried a lot from Vitruvi. I'm not specifically gonna go into every single blend, but I do wanna talk about why I think these blends are superior to a lot of other brands. First and foremost, I do wanna say if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from Vitruvi, I do have a discount code for you guys. It is Alicia Wade 10 and it will get you 10% off your purchase. Whether it's a new diffuser, some essential oil blends that you're just looking to restock on, you get 10% off. So I will have that code right here. I also have a link in my description if you shop directly through that link. I do believe that you get an automatic 10% discount applied at checkout. I'm not 100% sure though, so don't take my word. But if not, just be sure to enter this code at checkout. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. So Vitruvi has truly some of the most gorgeous diffusers in my opinion. I really feel like they were the first brand to really master this minimal look for diffusers, which I personally love. Do you wanna talk about their stone collection first because it is my absolute favorite from them and I have two diffusers from them from their stone collection. This is the first Vitruvi diffuser that I ever got from the brand. It is their stone collection, like I said, in the color terracotta and I am so in love with this. And the reason it is called the stone collection is because of the material. As you guys can see, the material on this diffuser is very much like stone. It has this kind of matte look to it. I'm personally so in love with this look. It's giving California. I don't know how to explain it, but like it looks like those homes in California with like stone walls and stuff. I'm gonna like throw up some inspo pics here so you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to explain. I don't know if that's coming across and how I'm trying to explain this. That's the vibe that these diffusers give and I'm here for it. I love it so much. I really love the size of these diffusers. I don't find them too big. They're not too bulky and too much in your space. I do find they're like the perfect size, but you can still fill it up anywhere from four to a maximum of eight hours. If you are going to turn the diffuser on for eight hours, that's pretty much the hard maximum that these diffusers go for. So they do have three little features in the back, which this one here is just the light. If you just wanna turn the diffuser on, um, the light here on the bottom will light up. They have their eight hour feature and their four hour feature. You don't necessarily have to pick four or eight hours. It's just if you want the diffuser to go on its own, you click four hours or eight hours. You can turn it on and off literally whenever you want. You wanna have it on for two hours and then turn it off, you just have to click the button and it'll turn off on its own. It's not like, once you click the button, it's set for four hours or set for eight hours. You can definitely turn it off. I just personally love turning it on, not having to think about it and just kind of letting the diffuser do its thing. This is the next diffuser that I have from the Stone Collection. It's the exact same diffuser, but in this gorgeous lilac color. I could not resist. I'm usually a neutral girl, but when I saw this color lilac, I was just sold. It is so gorgeous. It's not loud in your face. It's still very subtle, but it does add that little pop of color. This one I have on my desk at all times and I love it so much I do want to show you guys the inside of these diffusers and how they work So you just pop this open super simple very easy and then this is what the inside looks like It has this maximum water level Which is obviously the maximum amount of water that you can put in if you fill this up to the maximum water level It will go for the full eight hours. You can put less if you want obviously But I just like to kind of fill it up to the max line even if I don't put my diffuser on for eight hours. I just like not having to stress about having to fill it up every single time. So this part here just comes off very simple like this. And then you obviously put the essential oil drops of the blends in here as well. So you add your water to wherever you want. I always do the maximum water level. And then you just add your drops in there like that. The one con I'm going to say about the Stone Collection diffusers are that they are only operated when you plug them in. And this is obviously not gonna be a huge deal for everyone because most diffusers you need to plug in. But it is one thing that I do wish they had the option 
looking for for the stone collection specifically because I just like I said I just love the look of these diffusers but unfortunately you do have to plug them in so sometimes it can get a little bit tricky if you wanted it like on your coffee table for example you're gonna have to get an extension cord or if the cord reaches like a plug you're gonna have like this ugly wire showing so it's just not optimal for certain places in your home but like I said it's not gonna be a deal breaker for everyone I'm still in love with it and I found a place for both of these diffusers in my home that I find suits both of them it's just one thing I wanted to mention that I would show you guys the cord it is pretty long I just want to show you guys in case this is something that you guys were wondering about this is how long it is like it's it's a pretty long cord so you can definitely work with it you know if you're trying to like reach the diffuser somewhere from a plug without an extension cord it's definitely a lengthy cord. And then the third and final diffuser I wanted to share with you guys is from their Move collection. And this specific diffuser is a wireless diffuser. It's definitely more of a modern kind of look. This is what the Move collection looks like. I have it in white. And like I said, it's definitely more of a cold look, more of a modern look. It's still very minimal, which I love. I just personally find the stone collection is so cozy. Whereas this one is not, it's giving very cold. I do know this one is quite popular. Popular. And of course, like I said, because it's wireless, I do actually use this one probably the most out of all of them. I just have it on our coffee table and I kind of leave it there. Because it is rechargeable, I'm able to just stick this literally anywhere in the Aperma without having to stress if it's near a plug. So the back of this one is slightly different. It still has all the same buttons, just placed a little bit differently. And then there's actually these four little lights here that if you see, when I turn it on, it's gonna show you right now it is fully charged. So that's why all four of these are lit up. The less battery you have, the more the lights go down, just so you have an idea of where you are approximately. This is what the top looks like, just to show you guys. In terms of how long the diffuser will last before you need to recharge it, I would say it's pretty consistent with if you want it to run the full eight hours, it will, and then you pretty much need to recharge it right after. So what I do is just every night before bed, I recharge it overnight, and then the next morning take it off the charger and just put it where I want which is usually on our coffee table for the day and then click the eight hour option so the inside of this one is pretty much the same I just wanted to show you guys it has the maximum water level here and then you apply the top on like the other one and then you apply this one on top as well so this is what the charger looks like I do want to show you guys what the little stand looks like it is very simple this is the base of the charger it just has these two little things on the bottom and the stand pretty much just has the wire that you then plug into the wall and then it's so simple you just stick the diffuser on the stand like this and it recharges automatically on its own and now I wanted to talk about their essential oil Oil blends more specifically why I love them so much so for each blend that you purchase you put about anywhere from like 20 I believe to 25 drops into the water that's really all you need when it comes to how many drops to add to the diffuser and why I love these so much is because I find these blends last and smell for the full amount of time that your diffuser is going I oftentimes find with diffusers that after let's say a few hours you stop smelling the smell of the essential oils it kind of gives out over time throughout the day and I do find with Vitruvi that is not true the strength of the scent lasts the full eight hours that the diffuser is going or the four hours that it's going however long the diffuser is on the smell consistently stays the same strength which is a huge bonus and personally what I want when I'm turning my diffuser on I don't want the smell to kind of blend with the room we have very tall ceilings in this apartment and I do run the diffusers in large rooms so one of them like I said is on our coffee table in the living room which is quite a big double room I also have one in the hallway which the hallway Always is like pretty big and the smell really does transfer which I love and I can attest to it really will last the full day it does transfer very well like I said we have very tall ceilings and I do have the diffusers running in pretty open spaces and when you walk into the room you can smell the diffuser you can smell the essential oil blends very clearly which I think is very important when purchasing a diffuser and essential oil blends so I'm not gonna get into all the blends 
that they have just because I have so many from them. But if you guys are interested in hearing more about the blends and which ones I personally really love, I'm happy to make a second part to this video. Just let me know that you're interested by giving this video a big thumbs up for me. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and useful. If you guys have any questions about Vitruvi or your diffuser, feel free to leave a question or comment in the comments down below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Again, if you guys are interested in buying anything from Vitruvi, go ahead and use the code ALISAWADE10 for 10% off your purchase. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already and join our fam here on YouTube. Love you guys so, so much and I will see you very soon with another new video. Bye.